All praises, all praises, all praises to the heavenly, holy, almighty creator of infinity, eternity, the universe, and all there is. Hello, family. This is your brother, the humble Hebrew, visiting revelations.unveil.detroit. And family, we are continuing with this wonderful convening today, this wonderful congregation of this wonderful people, the 12 tribes of the house of Israel, as well as the brothers and sisters of the world. And so family, we will be continuing this evening with the series, the Maccabees of the Apocryphal Text, the first series of books. And so at this point, we are at chapter five, and we will be continuing with the wonderful review of the history of the nation of Israel. And this is the Southern Kingdom during the Greek captivity. This is the period of the Holy Scripture that was removed and one of the major prophecies given by Brother Daniel in terms of the statue of Nebuchadnezzar and the four beasts that would rule the last empires before the return of the Holy Messiah. So we will be examining the exploits of the brothers holding it down in the holy city under the Greek captivity of and what is Antiochus Epiphanes. And so in our previous episodes, please go and check those out, share and subscribe. We were looking at the impending doom for the nation of Israel. We saw many of the brothers of the nation conspire and begin to consort with the heathens of the Greeks. And so now, in defense of the nation, of the law, and of the one true God, the brothers of Judas Maccabees are in defense of the holy nation and the holy people to sustain and maintain their integrity and nationhood under the Greek captivity. So family, let us become still, let us become quiet, let us have honor and review for the revelations.unveiled.detroit channel standards in the books of Malachi chapter 3 verse 6, in the books of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8, and the Holy Scroll of Brother Isaiah chapter 28 verses 9 through 11. And so, let us begin with this wonderful immersion into the wonderful history of the mystery of the supreme nation of the chosen. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 5, verse 1. Now when the nations round about heard that the altar was built and the sanctuary renewed as before, it displeased them very much. Wherefore they thought to destroy the generation of Jacob that was among them. And thereupon they began to slay and destroy the people. Then Judas fought against the children of Esau in Idumea at Arab Batim, because they besieged Gael. And he gave them a great overthrow and abated their courage and took their spoils. And also he remembered the injury of the children of Bian, who had been a snare and an offense unto the people, in that they lay in wait for them in the ways. He shut them up therefore in the towers and encamped against them and destroyed them utterly and burned the towers of that place with fire and all that were therein. Afterward, he passed over to the children of Ammon. 
where he found a mighty power and much people with Timotheus, their captain. So he fought many battles with them till at length they were discomforted before him and he smote them. And when he had taken Jazar with the towns belonging thereto, he returned into Judea. Then the heathen that were at Galad assembled themselves together against the Israelites that were in their quarters to destroy them. But they fled to the fortress of Dathema and sent letters unto Judas and his brethren. The heathen that are round about us are assembled together against us to destroy us. And they prepared to come and take the fortress whereunto we are fled, Timotheus being captain of their host. Come now, therefore, and deliver us from their hands, for many of us are slain. Yeah, all our brethren that were in the places of Toby are put to death. Their wives and their children also they have carried away captives and borne away their stuff. And they have destroyed there about a thousand men. Verse 14. While these letters were yet reading, behold, there came other messengers from Galilee with their clothes torn, who reported on this wise and said, they of Ptolemy and of Tyrus and Sidon and all Galilee of the Gentiles are assembled together against us to consume us. Now when Judas and the people heard these words, there assembled a great congregation together to consult what they should do for their brethren that were in trouble and assaulted of them. Then said Judas unto Simon, his brother, choose you out men and go and deliver your brethren that are in, Ga in Galilee. For I and Jonathan, my brother, will go into the country of Galad so he left Joseph, the son of Zacharias and Azarias, captains of the people with the remnant of the host in Judea to keep it. Unto whom he gave commandment saying, take you the charge of this people and see that you make not war against the heathen until the time that we come again. Now unto Simon were given 3,000 men to go into Galilee, and unto Judas 8,000 men for the country of Galad. Then went Simon into Galilee, where he fought many battles with the heathen, so that the heathen was discomfited by him. And he pursued them unto the gate of Ptolemy, and there were slain of the heathen about three thousand men whose spoils he took of whose spoils he took and those that were in Galilee and in Arbatis with their wives and their children and all that they had he took with him and brought them into Judea with great joy verse 24 Judas Maccabeus also and his brother Jonathan went over Jordan and traveled three days journey in the wilderness where they met with the Nabathites who came unto them in a peaceable manner and told them everything that happened to their brethren in the land of Galad and how that many of them were shut up in Bosor and Bosor and Alima cast for Maked and Karnaim. All these cities are strong and great. And they that were shut up in the rest of the cities of the country of Galad, and that against tomorrow they had appointed to bring their host against the forts and to take them and to destroy them all in one day. Hereupon Judas and his host turned suddenly by the way of the wilderness of Basara, 
And when he won the city, he slew all the males with the edge of the sword and took all their spoils and burned the city with fire. From whence he removed by night and went till he came to the fortress. And betimes in the morning, they looked up and behold, there was an innumerable people bearing ladders and other engines of war to take the fortress for they assaulted them. When Judas therefore saw the battle was begun and that the city, the cry of the city went up to heaven with trumpets and a great sound, he said unto his host, fight this day for your brothers. So he went forth behind them in great companies who sounded their trumpets and cried with prayer. Then the host of Timotheus, knowing that it was Maccabeus, fled from him. Wherefore he smote them with a great slaughter, so that there were killed of them that day about 8,000 men. This done, Judas turned aside to Masfa, and after he had assaulted it, he took and slew all the males therein and received the spoils thereof and burnt it with fire. From there he went and took Kashphan, Maged, Bosor, and the other cities of the country of Galad. After these things gathered Timotheus another host and encamped against Raphan beyond the brook. So Judas sent men to spy the host, who brought him word, saying, All the heathen that be round about us are assembled unto them, even a very great host. Verse 39. He has also hired the Arabians to help them, and they have pitched their tents beyond the brook, ready to come and fight against you. Upon this, Judas went to meet them. Then Timotheus said unto the captains of his host, When Judas and his host come near the brook, if he pass over first unto us, we shall not be able to withstand him, for he will mightily prevail against us. But if he be afraid and can't be on the river, we shall go over unto him and prevail against him. Now when Judas came near the brook, he caused the scribes of the people to remain by the brook, unto whom he gave commandment, saying, Suffer no man to remain in the camp, but let all come to the battle. So he went first unto them, and all the people after him. Then all the heathen, being discomfited before him, cast away their weapons and fled unto the temple that was at Karnaim. But they took the city and burned the temple with all that were therein. Thus was Carnain subdued. Neither could they stand any longer before Judas. Then Judas gathered together all the Israelites that were in the country of Galad, from the least unto the greatest, even their wives and their children and their stuff, a very great host, to the end that they might come into the land of Judea, Verse 46, now when they came unto Ephraim, this was a great city in the way as they should go, very well fortified. They could not turn from it, either on the right hand or to the left, but must needs pass through the midst of it. Then they of the city shut them out and stopped up the gates with stones. Whereupon Judas sent unto them in a peaceable manner, saying, let us pass through your land to go into our own country, and none shall do you any hurt. We will only pass through on foot, howbeit they would not open unto him. Wherefore Judas commanded a proclamation be made throughout the host that every man should pitch his tents in the place where he was. So the soldiers pitched and assaulted the city all day and all night, 
until at length the city was delivered into their hands, who then slew all the males with the edge of the sword and razed the city and took the spoils thereof and passed through the city over them that were slain. After this, they went over Jordan with a great or into the great plain before Beth Son. And Judas gathered together those that came behind and exhorted the people all the way through till they came into the land of Judea. So when they went up to Mount Zion with joy and gladness, where they had offered burnt offerings because not one of them were slain until they had returned in peace. Now, what time is Judas and Jonathan were in the land of Galad and Simon his brother in Galilee before Ptolemais? Joseph, the son of Zacharias and Azarias, captains of the garrisons, heard of the valiant acts and warlike deeds which they had done Wherefore, they said, let us also get us a name and go fight against the heathen that are round about us. So when they had given charge unto the garrisons that was with them, they went toward Jamnia. Then came Gorgias and his men out of the city to fight against them. And so it was that Joseph and Azarus were put to flight and pursued to the borders of Judea and there were slain in the day of the people of Israel about 2,000 men. Thus was there a great overthrow among the children of Israel because they were not obedient to Judas and his brethren but thought to do some valiant act. Moreover, these men came not of the seed of those by whose hand deliverance was given unto Israel. Howbeit, the man Judas and his brothers were greatly renowned in the sight of all Israel and of all the heathen wheresoever their name was heard of. Inasmuch as the people assembled, assembled, verse 64, inasmuch as the people assembled unto them with joyful acclamations. Afterward, when Judas forth with his brothers and fought against the children of Esau in the land toward the south, where he smote Hebron and the towns thereof, and pulled down the fortress of it and burned the towers thereof round about. From there he removed to go into the land of the Philistines and passed through Samaria. And at that time, certain priests desirous to show their valor were slain in battle for that they went out to fight unadvisedly. Verse 68, so Judas turned to Azotus in the land of the Philistines. And when he had pulled down their altars and burned their carved images with fire and spoiled their cities, he returned into the land of Judea. All praises, family, all praises. So we see under the valiant warriorship, the generalship, our brother Judas Maccabees went into battle amongst many heathen nations, came out with the victories in his courage, in his strength. He has fortified his name. He has fortified his position as an arbiter of protection for the nation of Judah, the Judeans, Jerusalem, Israel. And so family, they don't know, the heathen don't know 
but they do know. So this display of power and of strength and of endurance and of will and that under the divine hedge and protection of our holy power creator of all. There is nothing that can stop us when we are in righteousness, when we are in order, when we are in rule. And so it lends to the narrative of the common day circumstance, consequence and situation of the brothers and sisters of the holy nation. The nations have conspired to keep us divided along the lines of politics and name and religion and philosophy. But within the core of our spirit, we know that our strength is unity. Our strength is the power of light and righteousness. So family, we will be continuing with the review of the holy mystery history of the wonderful nation of the chosen. This was the book of First Maccabees chapter five. We shall continue. We shall reconvene once again in love, joy, comfort, and safety so that we may continue to expand and expound and extend on that expressway to excellence and eternity. So family, until we are together again, I love you. I love you. I love you. This is your humble Hebrew brother here at revelations.unveil.detroit. Please subscribe and share and review the support links in the description box. See you on the next review. All praises.